the Rikishi Fatu Off the Top Podcast. Let's go. Rikishi Fatu, all y'all ready? We the ones. It's 2024. Keep it locked on the Rikishi Fatu Podcast. Off the top. We gon' talk about everything. Everything wrestling, everything hip-hop. Keep it locked. It's time to smarten up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Off the Top with Rikishi Fatu. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, first off, I'd like to uh, thank our sponsors, and that's going to be uh, Knox Pro Entertainment. If you want to learn, you got to learn from the best. So you got to go to Knox Pro in Van Nuys, California, or if you want to go on the World Wide Web, just log on to knoxpro.com. Is that correct, Big Keish? That's it. That's K N O K X P R O. Dot com. What's happening, my man? Man, Big Keish, how you doing? Uh, oh, man, I'm just getting back from a crazy tour. Uh, last weekend, I was in, uh, I had three shots. A uh, big shout out to my peoples at Hideouts. I uh, went to Queens, New York. I caught a red eye flight out of here on a Thursday. Got there 5 a.m. in the morning, right? And then got there, went to the hotel, checked in. Now, while I'm trying to sleep, Normal people's waking up. Yes, sir. And so I had to, you know, try to get down and, you know, close my eyes. I put the beanie over my eyes, <laughs> turn on the AC. It was cold. Like, I mean, these, it was freaking freezing in there. My nutsack was cold in that damn room. <laughs> and, so, and so I'm like, ah. So finally got up at about 4.30. Yes, sir. Went to Queens, uh, Queens, New York, mm-hmm. and I did a, did a three-hour signing from 6 to 9 with... Uh, wrestling universe a uh, big shout out to jack you know these guys are always bringing different talent all the time through there doing autograph signing so they did pretty good you know what i mean uh, the people showed i didn't think anybody was gonna show up because it was 6 p.m to 9 p.m and joey it was freaking freezing out there but they showed up man they showed up and showed out so that night you know after the nine o'clock you know we uh we went ahead and jumped in the ride and we rode I think it was three and a half hours, four wow. hours from New York to uh, Warwick, uh, Rhode Island, where they had the, the Rhode Island Comic Con there. Okay. Russell Gunn, so uh, slept there. They had Dennis Rodman there, okay. Trish Stratus, uh, ran into my brother, Ron, Ron Simmons. Simmons. I saw yeah. that. Damn. Hey, hey, come on. Now. You know I had to post up the ground. But with oh, my, yeah, I saw that. I ran into Teddy Long out there, some of my old school friends, my brother's close friend, uh, Benjamin Shelton, uh, he was there as well. And it was a good Comic-Con, you know. Uh, so we we, we, we uh, got through about, I want to say I was there from 10 to about 4 p.m. Okay. Then had to drive up even north. I thought I was done with the cold weather. Mm-hmm. But I had to drive up north to South Portland, Maine. Wow. Where I did an autograph signing the following day from 12 to 3 at a place called um, main vintage toys. Okay. Now listen to that. Joe, you, you, you like lobster, right? Yes, sir. I love seafood. So I posted Anything I up. see, I eat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a goof. He's a goof. <laughs> He's a goof. <laughs> I'm talking about lobster, lobster. Yes, sir. And you was doing it like that? Man. So anyhow, all this time, because I knew my last signing was going to be Portland, Maine. Mm-hmm. And if anybody knows seafood, that's the capital of lobsters up there wow. in Maine, right? If it ain't Alaska, it's up there in Maine. Did you partake? So so I got up there. Yes, sir. My guy that was sitting in the back seat while we were driving said, so now we got time to go eat dinner. So we said, go ahead and look for a place. So we found a place up there by the name of High Rollers. Go figure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You remember when we had Territory the Territory League. League? Yes, sir. Las I was, Vegas I High was Rollers. on the freaking team called the Las Vegas High Rollers. Yes, sir. And I was like, okay, High Rollers. So this got to be a good place. So it was kind of like a, a real, a real nice place, like a pub slash, uh, you know, uh, uh, seafood, uh, all kind of drinks, you name it, man. Okay. So anyhow, we get there, and it was the the the, the main event was the lobster rolls. Right, and so the lobster rolls came. So I bit into this thing. Man, it was mm. just like how I thought it was. Mm. They brought some stuff out there. You know, normally when you eat lobster, they come with like you know that hot butter. Yes, sir. Ooh. Hot, hot, hot butter. Mm. Damn. Make but my... then they brought check this out. Mm-hmm. So they brought another sauce out there. It was called mayo garlic. 
it had, it had mayonnaise in it? Come on. Oh, come my on. Did, did, did come they on. not know well, who they're serving to? <laughs> Whether I taste it or not, as soon as it said mayo, I said that was the one. <laughs> yeah. So when they brought that one, oh, so I'm telling you, man. Now, keep in mind, I done ordered three lobster rolls because I, I, I just wasn't full from it. You know, I was, I, I've been craving lobster so long. So my guy there that I was with, Steve Duckett from Hideouts, he says, you know, you can order extra and throw it on top of the lobster roll. <laughs> so I was like, well, damn, now you tell me. Yeah, right. So in the meantime, I'm posting, you know, every time I go to different restaurants, I'm always liking to show love to the mm -hmm. small business mm -hmm. places, right? Mm -hmm. So I actually, you know, tweeted out his spot or Instagrammed it out and posted it all over to my uh, social media. So all of a sudden, right when we were getting ready to leave, a guy walked up to me and introduced himself. And his name was Andy. Now, Andy was the owner of High Rollers Lobster Place. Oh, wow. Right? So if you guys get a chance, follow him. On, on uh, Instagram is called High Rollers Lobster Company, right? Wow. So anyhow, he came and he, I'm, I'm looking, I thought it was just a fan of uh -huh. it's another, you know, I didn't, uh -huh. <laughs> who the hell are you? You know what I mean? And uh -huh. he was, hey, he was, you know, nice to meet you. You know, I'm the owner, blah, blah, blah. And so right off the back, I say, hey, man, thank you for blah, 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 and all this stuff. So he says, I'm coming to your signing tomorrow. Oh, wow. I said, man, well, great. You think you can bring me some more lobster tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. I just found out that you could stack more on top of the lobster <laughs> roll because I ordered three lobster rolls and I still wasn't full. So he said, no doubt, man. So came down there right when we got there about 12 o'clock to Main Vince's Toys, and this guy, Andy, was already there. Wow. Dude, he opened up the bag. He brought four big lobsters. Four? Stacked. Oof. Then they had a four lobster crispy tacos. Did he bring the mayo sauce? Stack. Oh, no, let me get to the main event. Right? <laughs> and he bought some hot dogs. He brought some hot dogs. He had three potato salads in there. And then he brought not one bottle of mayo, uh, mayo garlic. He brought two. Ooh. Man, we Bless killed, his heart. Man, Bless we killed heart. that second man. But anyways, man, it was the best... Freaking lobster. I was so happy, man. I was like a kid in the candy store, man. I could have stayed up there another day just to eat lobsters. Oh, so big shout out to my man, Andy. Thank you for looking out. Make sure you guys follow. Go check out. It's the High Roller Lobster Company. And go follow them. Wow. Big shout out, Andy, man. I'm, my mouth is watering over here. Listen, you, I'm salivating. Man, I'm that. telling you, boy. If you ain't, if you ain't taste the lobster, boy. But, you know, we don't get that good good seafood out here in California. No, I don't you know think I mean? so. That's what I was telling them. That's like us going to Texas when whenever we see Waffle House or, or Whataburger, right? Mm -hmm. and, and But the people out there, they're always talking about In-N-Out out here. Let me ask you something, Big Keys. Yeah. Uh, you've had Whataburger. Yep. And you've had In-N-Out. Yep. Who do you rank best? Oh, uh, Whataburger. Wow, Texas, you Water hear that? Burger. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Um, I got to go with the Whataburger, man. I, number one is that sucker there. They, you know, they say everything is big in Texas. Texas, uh-huh. Well, when you see the size of a Whataburger and you see the size of an In-N-Out burger, mm -hmm. they, both too, they both taste delicious, but I got to go with the size, you know? Yes, sir. I got to go. Bigger's get, always get, better. Get, get, I want to get what my money's worth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know? Um, you know, speaking of cold and, you know, freezing, um, you're looking like an ice-cold player over there in that brand-new drip that you got, Big Keish. Listen. Well. Um, ladies and gentlemen, well, I'm just going to debut this right here, right now. Mm, that's This boy. is the brand-new Rikishi off the top Podcast hoodie. Man, it's tight, boy. Oh man, boy. it's man. I got I got mine the, the on. The drip, the drip, the yes, drip. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm hearing all everything you're saying, but it's hard to hear over this drip. You know what I mean? Mm. And and not only do you got the hoodies, you got the t-shirts. Soon we got the beanies coming. We got street signs. Come on. I mean, we got a bunch of stuff coming on with uh, this merchandise coming on. So if we can, Dude, you got to show them the street sign there. Right? Yes, sir. Hey, if if the, I can get that street sign over here, please. Look at look at that. Let's get a shot of that. Let's get a shot of the back, ladies and gentlemen. The hoodie. Ooh. That's good quality, too. Oh, man, this ain't the cheap stuff. Mm -mm. This ain't the iron-on. No, this I, ain't the heat press. No, I don't this play with that. This I, embroidery. I don't play Silk with that. Silk screen. It is. You know what I mean? Now, now, look at that. Feel that. Tell the people. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's like a stop sign Look at material. that. No, this is a legit weapon. 
This is a weapon <laughs> right here. You can, you can, it's, it's, it's party in the front and business in the back. It is. <laughs> Keish, this is dope. This is a dope ass street sign. Well, I want to send a big shout out, Joey, to my peoples out there of uh, Phoenix Designs out there in Indianapolis. Uh, you can go on there on uh, Facebook. You know, I've been ordering with these people. I don't know for the last uh, five years, maybe. Yes, sir. And you know, this is once again, it's me always, uh, you know, getting in bed with the uh, uh, small business people. You know, I like to be able to lend a helping hand to them. And then, uh, you know, not only that, it's just the quality stuff that they make. So, you can check them out. Go to go to uh, Phoenix Designs. I mean, they do it all from hoodies to. The, the good quality T-shirt, and it's not that that thick, this rough type legit. of T-shirt. This is a That's thin, that soft, thin. yes, sir. Soft. I, I like all the soft yes, T-shirt. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It so they they do everything, mm -hmm. man. They print all type of photos. So, you know, big shout out to my man out there, out there, Ray, and my old Jared out there for Phoenix Designs. Check them out. So, if people want to purchase these uh, items, uh, where can they uh, purchase them at? They can go right there to Rikishi Fat Two. Dot com. Go on the website there and just hit the merch and, you know, just follow. Well, we was talking uh, b before the uh, show started, and yeah. you're, you're feeling pretty generous right about damn now. Um, I, I, I'm always generous. Yes, know? sir. You had Jeez. mentioned to me that um, we are going to uh, have a few giveaways. But in order to give away uh, some of these hoodies and shirts, what we're mm. going to do here at Off the Top, we are going to uh, send you guys over uh, to TikTok and... Uh, what we're going to ask is if uh, you want a free hoodie or a free T-shirt, we want you to send in your best Rikishi Fatu dance. Uh oh Yes, sir. And what we want to do is we, wanted, uh, we want you to send that footage to the TikTok page. Right. Which is... Uh, it's Rikishi Fatu off the top. Yes, okay? sir. And yes, then sir. It, it, let's add on to this now. So let's do the dance challenge on there, on that page, and then I'll come in. I'm gonna do a duet. A duet with every person that comes and you know puts puts the dance on there, on that page. They gotta tag the page. Okay. And then let's get even. Let's get even. Let's get even hotter with this. How are we gonna do it? Let's throw something in there. Let's give them something free. Yes, sir. Come yes, on. sir. Yes, sir. The winner. I, the winner. Yeah. Well, we'll uh, man. I will tell you what. Yes, sir. I'll go ahead and throw in a t-shirt, mm -hmm. the brand new Rikishi off the top t-shirt. Mm -hmm. I'll throw in a hoodie. Ooh. All right. Is that for first place? First place. First place winner is going to receive right. a brand new Rikishi off the top hoodie and T-shirt. That is a hell of a combo. Second place. What's second place? Let's go second place. They're going to get a T-shirt. You got the T-shirt. Okay. And an 11 by 14 poster signed autograph. 11 by 14? Yes. Not an 8 by 10. Not a 5 by 7. But a 11 by 14? 11 by 14. We'll do it of me and the rock. How about that? Wow. Wow. Uh, at 11, 14, uh, 11 by 14, of poster of you and The Rock. Right. For third place. No. No. Third place. That's second place. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. There, there then you, the third place. Yes, sir. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to okay. give him a T-shirt just for entering. Mm -hmm. and then we'll throw him an 8 by 10. Yes, sir. Okay. I got you. you okay. Did. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I, 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 there, there's a lot going on, but I tell you what, we're going to talk about some stuff when we return, and then there's some major stuff going on uh, between your sons right now. Mm, I mean, uh, man, one, uh, Jimmy Cost J, the Intercontinental Championship. Yeah, things just got raw. Yes, sir, no pun intended. So I tell you what, we got a lot more to talk about, and we will be right back with more Rikishi Fatu off the top. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is TMD. Hey, do you want to get more eyes on your business? Cool. Well, all you got to do is write us, rikishifatu.com, and we will make that happen. Rikishi Fatu, off the top. We're coming right back. All right. Yo, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, well, hold on. I got the damn. Oh! We got freaking Gunther's underwear on. <laughs> what the f? Yeah, can we put the. How's the logo back? Go back on. Are we live? All right. Jumping Jehoshaphat's, ladies and gentlemen. We got a lot going on right now. Gunther's underwear. <laughs> yeah, we got Gunther's underwear. What a shot to leave it frozen on. I don't know how to turn this thing over. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to try it again? Okay. There, okay here we uh, go. 
All right. All right. Here we go. Hmm, little technical uh, difficulties. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. There it is. There Boom. It is. All right, nigga. Boom. Mad magic, baby. All right. Here we go. So, Big <laughs> Quiche. Um, before we went to commercial, um, let's let's go over uh, the, yeah. the fans are going to send in uh, their footage of them doing the dance to the TikTok page. You're going to do a duet with them, and you're going to choose uh, a first place, a second place, and a third place. Right. Now let's go over that one more time. First place winner is going to get what? Okay, the first place winner is going to get a T-shirt and a hoodie. The second place is going to get a T-shirt and an 11 by 14 poster. Of me and The Rock, hmm. right? That's just Hell in a Cell, the famous picture we got. Okay. And then, you know, I still, because of the third place, mm -hmm. we still got to honor him or her. Mm -hmm. And let's go ahead and throw in a T-shirt with an 8x10 photo. Everything's going to be signed. Man. You know, so the first place, mm -hmm. you get the hoodie and the T-shirt, the brand new Rikishi off the top. Right? Yes, sir. The yes, second sir. place, you get in the T-shirt, an 11 by 14 Photo of me and The Rock, right? Now, I don't know if Rock's going to be able to sign it, but you can rest assured Big Bang going to sign it. Yes, sir. And then the third place winner, we're going to give you a T-shirt and an 8 by 10 Wow, that and is so a man. I'll be, I'll be, while they're posting up, I'm going to come in there and just randomly pick, you know, a, a, a post, and I'll do a duet. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go ahead and announce it. You know, the following week. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you got work to do. You want that free uh, drip? And what was you telling me earlier about? You know what? You were talking about being generous. And I want to tell you, I want to let them know this. Like we were talking earlier, you know, mm -hmm. the, the numbers of this show has really skyrocketed. Yes, sir. You know, we had no idea. You know, we just, I have just felt like we needed to put on a show, you know, to be able to just engage with the fans and let them know what time it is and, you know, how I'm doing and, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But just, you know, uh, understanding what the views and the numbers, my goodness, I just want to say that, you know, I have a team here that's keeping me posted of, you know, the engagement of all you fans. And I want to say personally, thank you. Thank you for following our page on Instagram. That's Rikishi uh, Fatu off the top. Thank you for following our X page. That's R Fatu. Off the top, I couldn't get Rikishi Fatu, somebody that stole my name on Twitter. <laughs> they what? They, I guess they stole the name, so I couldn't. What are you we talking couldn't. About? They we, stole couldn't it. we couldn't get the Rikishi Fatu off the top, so we had to put in R Fatu off the top on what? on the X. Yeah, I know. Wait a minute, wait, Keish, did you lose your blue check too? Yeah. Well, well what is that? I uh, when they switched over from Twitter to X. X uh -huh. I went to look on there again, and my freaking blue check was gone. So I don't what? know. Come on, Elon come on. Musk. I mean, you're sending people to Mars. We can know, get Kishi his, his check again, his blue check. I know, Musk. I, I didn't even, man. Come on. He, uh, well, come on, Elon Musk. Yeah, it, it'll come to you. I like to stink face. It'll something. come to you. You got to smart yeah, up. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> Think about it long enough. It'll, it'll come, come to you. you. Yeah. Yo, Big Kishi. But anyhow, that's so, it, yo. There's something I wanted to get your thoughts on. Yeah. Uh, before we talk about your sons and the big match on Monday Night Raw, um, I want to talk about your uh, your uncle, uh, Afa. Yeah. Uh, Afa uh, announced that he is going to be closing down WXW. Now, WXW is World Extreme Wrestling, and World Extreme Wrestling has been around for about 27 years. Now, um, are we aware that he's, he's going to close down the school, I mean, the promotion? Well, yeah, I just, um, I mean, I, I found out the news just like everybody else in the world. And, uh, you know, my, uh, you know, my uncle's been having some, uh, uh, some, uh, health issues and I'll just leave it at that but I'm sure this is the type of man that you know unless it's something really really serious I I wouldn't have never seen this uh being able to uh, him make an announcement like this and so but yeah you know I think it's a sad it's sad because a lot of people love pops love Uncle Alpha you know he's done so much for uh, the business he's done so much for a uh, community done so much for just the uh, the students throughout the whole world a lot of kids you know uh sign up for his uh uh school the Wilson training center and they come from all over the world i mean his his record you know need no introduction and you know when you're around your mentor or your coach 
uh, you know, all the time, you know, it becomes your father, becomes like your pops and so forth. And, you know, you get attached. And, you know, it's just like a, um, you know, family, you know. And, you know, everybody is seeing he's not, he's not a, you know, like he used to be, you know, as we grow older, you know, certain things, you know, your body changes and so forth. So, you know, I'm sure that, you know, the family got together, him and his wife and and so forth and, uh, you know, kind of made a decision what was best for him. You know, he's got to take care of his health. We all understand that. You know, we we can we can adapt as far as students, you know, and a lot of his students, I'm sure they're all smart enough to, you know, have learned a lot from him to be able to adapt. And it's not the end of the world. It's just that he won't be full time there as far as, you know, with uh, WXW. So, you know, big shout out to my uncle. Thank you for, you know, I can personally speak on uh, on uh, behalf of the family. You know, all of us that's uh, we've been in the business, we've mentioned this before, you know, our three fathers is, you know, High Chief Peter Mavia, Uncle Sika and Uncle Afa. So, you know, we wish him well. Um, you know, he loves he loves this industry. He loves all the boys, anybody that's in the, in the industry, the, the community. I mean, he's just all about that. And he's the one that really has uh, opened our eyes as far as, you know, wrestling is bigger than you. Utilizing your platform and understand what that is to be able to give back to your community, give back to the next generation and so forth. So, you know, much love to Uncle Alpha. WXW had a big part in the movie The Wrestler. Yeah. yeah. Um, which, of course, uh, Nicolas Cage was slated to uh, play that that uh, Randy the Ram first, but right. that didn't work out, so Mickey Rourke got it. So It was a hell of... Uh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off like you did last month. me. <laughs> we, we, we got him, gang girl. We got him. <laughs> no, no, Mickey Rourke. So, you know... He really li- loved Uncle Alpha. Like, uh, you know, Uncle Alpha, when I talked to him before, he was saying that, uh, that you know, Mickey could have really done this. You know, he was like a good athlete and so forth. But, you know, just going through that movie, uh, you know, kind of opened his eyes up. It was like what, what the boys go, you, you know. Yes, sir. You know what we go through, man. When you're out there on the road, you know, things can go left real quick, you know. And if you're not in the right state of mind around the right circle, you know, you can definitely, you know, go the wrong route. But, yeah, you know, I, I think that, uh, you know, during that time he was, uh, uh, Uncle Alpha was happy uh, to be able to train a big movie star such as Mickey Rourke. Right. And I think that says a lot about him and the school and his teachings that Hollywood chose his school um, uh, and his promotion to film around. Boy, if you don't believe in the Samoan Dynasty legacy, man. Right. What more do we got to do, man? Right. All you got to do is just Google it. Just, <laughs> just Google it. You want to know anything about the dynasty, what we can mm-hmm. and cannot do. Mm-hmm. A lot of it is, is we can do. As I just do with wrestling and the entertainment business, we know it like Iron Sheik says from A to Z. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. and not just in the ring, but outside the ring as well. Come on. Um, and really quick, before we move on, I want you to tap in on who, uh, speaking of the uh, Wild Samoan training facility, who are some of the famous uh, alumni from that school? Dave Batista. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, uh, Taker came through there as well, but not long. You know, he's a very close, close friends of the family. Of course, you probably know why, because Yoko came from that school as well. Uh, we all came up underneath Uncle Alpha and Sika. Um, let me see, uh, man. There were, you know, there were some guys that were there that probably a lot of the kids don't know, but, you know, I'm happy that I got to meet them. And only through Uncle Alpha's school was guys like David Schultz, uh, Charlie Fulton. You know, uh, I want you guys, if you don't know, I want you to Google these names here. Uh, These guys here, man, you talk about in-ring psychology, man. You know, they were kind of, uh, Charlie Fulton was kind of like a middle carder. And, you know, they would put him with a lot of the uh, new stars that they're trying to push. So it take a guy, the real star, when I found out and got smart about the business, the real star was guys like Charlie Fulton. So just, you know, punch that name up. But, yeah, you know, a big shout-out to those cats there. My uncle used to put me in the ring with them and just told me to shut my mouth and listen. And that's exactly what I did. And uh, I was very happy that I got a chance to 
disgrace to ring with those guys. And remember, you remember the Moon Dogs back in the way? Yes, sir. Moon Dog. Yeah. Main, so there was Moon Dog uh, Rex. One of the other cats was his name. There's was Gunter's ass again. Say what? <laughs> Jesus, Gunter, will you leave us alone? I mean, <laughs> didn't, didn't we just see him on the Raw? Or I heard about it. Yeah. Speaking of Raw. What well, he, well, was uh, it wow. Yeet, yeet or no yeet or what? Well, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, yes, uh, if you watched Monday Night Raw, uh, you saw uh, what we all saw, uh, Jimmy Cost J, uh, the Intercontinental title. And uh, which brings me to actually my, my question that I've been wanting to ask you. As soon as I saw that, I, I had to ask, um, when it comes to your sons, is it yeet or is it no yeet? Well, let's just say equals eat. <laughs> yeet or no yeet? I can't say. I mean, you know, uh, yeet, Jay is on a roll. No yeet, that, that's with Jimmy now. Uh, Jimmy's on a roll too as far as being, you know, one of the hated heels out there. Um, so at the end of the day, it's like, you know, I think... The, the Fatu brand is winning, you know. But, you know, I, I as a baby face, I've been a baby face most of my career. So, you know, uh, I, I I can only see a yeet, meaning J, go to the next level. I mean, I, I can see something happening with him and Gunther as far as with the strap. Now, whether it goes to WrestleMania, I don't know. Or is it a dream match? against Yeet and no Yeet. You know, once again, the bloodline again, you know, it's just always something that, you know, interests a lot of people. And it could be, you know, on a personal level, I would like to see that because, you know, my boys, they talked about that. They've done it all in tag teaming together. You know, I'm, I'm sure it's a beautiful thing now to be able to venture out as single competition just to see, you know, test your skills and how far you can go. And then to be able to, you know, finally have a, a match against each other on the grandest stage of them all, I think could be, you know, a, a historical moment for the family and, and a treat for the wrestling fans. Speaking of the wrestling fans, a, a lot of wrestling fans are asking, are you going to get involved somehow in between your sons, Jimmy and Jey Uso? Um, leading hmm. leading into WrestleMania. Oh, hmm. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, that, again, uh, as a dream, as a dream match for the fans, it'd be nice. It would be hella nice to be. Who better able to put to, the sons in line than from the father? Yeah, you but, know, you know. I mean, but uh, that'd be great. I mean, you know, everybody would get their photo op. You know, I'll, I'll be able to. You know, to be once again standing in the ring with my two boys and, and uh, you know, just enjoying the moment of, you know, 80,000, 90,000 people, you know, going to be sitting there just, you know, just, you know, just soaking all this in. I mean, there is no feeling to be in WrestleMania standing in the middle of that ring when you have 80,000 people either cheering you or booing you. But here's the beautiful thing. Standing in the ring in front of 80,000 people with your blood, it's even better. You know, I, I probably that'll probably be the first time you ever see the bad man break a tear in there because now it's personal. You know, the, the way he has been paved a long time ago, 75 plus years, and then 2024, here I am standing you know, with the boys in there. Could could be a very, very emotional, historical moment for the bloodline. I, I, I kind of, I see it. You know, I can already smell it. I can already... It makes sense. Not only yeah. does it make sense, it makes dollars. <laughs> yeah, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> well, but who knows? You know, we know this. They have that big old, well, maybe a little print always up underneath the... The card, subject to change. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know? But I say, hey, WWE, if you're listening, you know, go ahead and just, go ahead and just put the, 
Do a way to just put Keisha's name on it. And not only that, come yeah. on, because then now do it for the people. Yes, sir. And, then, and, and there's just so <laughs> there's just so much w- yeah. w- with that. But I, I think the 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 world wants to see you involved somehow. You, you know what? With your sons, it, is it? It's just every single. That, that's how I get all my news. You know, fans. I don't get it from all. Mm-hmm. I, I don't get it from the boys calling me, right? I get it because. It's always on Twitter. People are tagging me left and right. Thank you. I love you guys, right? And that's why I all come through there. Like I posted up one time because I didn't. I didn't. I don't watch the show too much. Mm-hmm. But then I posted up what's happening, and everybody just came through. They were just talking about rock, talking about this, talking about Cody. I mean, you know. And somehow, I'm just up in this thing here, but I never asked to be. And so, uh, you know, I appreciate all the fans out there. And you know what? I, if it makes sense, I might think about it. But for the time being, there's a bunch of grown men in the bloodline. They all got to pull their weight because when Big Key steps through, you 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 going to definitely know it's time. Now, I don't know which one will probably get a stink face, which one might not, which side I might jump onto, maybe the left or the right. Uh, maybe I just might go right down the middle because that's where I've always been anyway. Stand alone, the man stands by, by himself. You dig? I dig, sir. And I just remember, though. Yes, sir. <laughs> you never know if SmackDown or Raw. You know, they got a lot of black Lincoln Continentals out there. And I'll leave it at that. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I pick up. I pick up what you're laying down. That's 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 huge. Uh, it came to you, um, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we want to thank you guys for tuning in once again to another episode of Off the Top with Rikishi Fatu. Don't forget to send those videos to TikTok at Rikishi Fatu Off the Top, and we are gonna have Rikishi Fatu do a duet with the winner. Uh, you know what, I, I man, I'm, I'm gonna call all my hip hop buddies out there, Queen Latifah, if you're listening. Eve, if you're listening, Yo Yo, if you're listening, uh, uh, LL Cool J, if you're listening, Flavor Flav, if you're listening, Flavor. Well, y- y'all go ahead and just jump onto the Rikishi Dance Challenge and uh, go ahead and tag me on that. I would just love to just hell, uh, y'all do that. I'll just send y'all uh, send you a hoodie or a uh, uh, t-shirt of the Rikishi off the top. Flavor Flav would look really damn good in some of these hoodies right here. You Come know? on, Flavor Flav. Flav. <laughs> Man, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it right there. Uh, we will see you next time. And don't forget to send those questions into rikishifatu.com. We want to read questions from the fans so we can read them here on the show for you. But then again, we will, uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, have a good night, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, any last words, Big Kish? Remember, it's free to be kind to one another. And always, always smarten up. It's time to smarten up. It's time to say things that people are scared to say. It's time to bring you on into my home so you know what time it is. In the locker room, in the hip-hop world, in the wrestling world. You might even come into my kitchen. Ladies and gentlemen, tune in next week where me and Big Keish, we're going to talk about some of the best enhancement talent in the business. We're talking about guys like... What do you mean? Go ahead. What are you trying to say? Like guys like jobbers? You would, I mean, you can say that, but I can't say that. Okay, sir. well, I don't like to use it. That's what they used to call them, but that's not the correct name I would like to give them. I want to give these guys their flowers yes, sir. because it takes two to dance. Yes, sir. And guys that don't necessarily get to win, the guy that don't get to push, these guys are the real workers. So let's, from now on moving through, there's no more jobbers. We're not going to call these guys jobbers. We're going to call them workers. Yes, sir. Because that's exactly what they are. Let's, Let's save s- it for next week, Keish. All right. We got a lot to talk about on the next show, ladies and gentlemen, with the Rikishi yeah. Fox 2 off the top. I got to tell you a story about Brawler. I want to hear it.